All right, uh, update. It's the 31st of May, um, 2022. This is the shop. I bought a few more things. I got a shop vac. These are some of the uh, attachments or whatnot. Um, so I got this mostly for dust collection. Um, it's got the size hose that fits um, my table saw. And over here I have a, an attachment for the uh, joiner. So that goes on a joiner. So got that done. I got this right here. This thing is sick. I love it. It's a rotary tool. And I built this little stand for it real quick. Um, I bought some little diamond attachments. But it's like a little, got a little chuck. And you just put in tools and it's got a pedal here. Oh, let me pause this for a sec. All right, so here's the pedal. And, uh, oh, I bought this power strip too and I, you know, ran it along here and whatnot and made it so that I can plug my stuff in. So I'm basically kind of putting together the shop, but this little guy. Uh, I think sweet, I love it. It's, it's, Better than a Dremel, in my um, in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, I got that. And I made a little stand for it, and a little place to keep the chuck key right there. I'm gonna maybe redo that. I don't know. Like make it so that it hangs. Like use maybe a piece of rubber or something, and put it on the chuck key side, and make it so it hangs or something. like dangles instead of just hangs. Anyhow, um, got more clamps. I got some speed speedy clamps. Got some speedy clamps, got myself a, a sander, mm. and I got myself some uh, clamps, 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 uh, sandpaper, uh, the sandpaper's under there. And, here we go, let's pull this out, I got a bunch of sandpaper, different, um, different grits, and then I got this, this is actually eight bucks. Not bad. It's got a round over, two straights that can plunge, I'm guessing. And then this is actually a T-slot. Just like, they call it a, a keyhole. That's pretty dope. I, I don't know. I think that might come in handy in other ways. And then some kind of weird angled thing. But, yeah. Five pieces. <laughs> yeah, anyhow. Um... I think before I go to bed, oh, I also bought some stainless steel wire. It's hanging out somewhere, but for rivets, it's too thin though. It's, um, I got, I, I was doing some riveting and taking out some of the rivets and fixing these floppers because I got this from, from the factory and this is as far out as it goes. That's it. And I kind of, this one's actually the best one. The other ones, they stop like, like that. And that's, that's no good, man. That's no good. You want it to open at least, at least that much. Maybe a little more, honestly. But, um, yeah, and then on top of it, like, you gotta tune the flopper so that it, uh, once it flops open, it kind of stays and it, it takes force to pull it back down so that way it doesn't flop down and your fish come off. So, but, anyhow, I got this spear out because I'm gonna quickly... Um, glue this up. I'm gonna make like um, I'm gonna make just a shorty. It's gonna be my, it's gonna be my um, my first go. I'm just gonna make a a, a classic, like a, a regular classic style for. I'm gonna do a 16 mil band, I think. So it just one though, just just boom. It's a 6.5 millimeter um, spear in diameter, six point five millimeter spear, shark fins, high carbon, and I'm gonna do this with a 16 mil band, and this is the billet that I'm making. I'm gonna just glue this up with, honestly, <laughs> type on three. The forums say it works, it says it's waterproof, and honestly, this is, I'm not, I'm not trying to spend a bunch of time and stuff like that, I'm just trying to knock out my first gun just to see how it feels and, and stuff. Um, I think for the handle, I might end up using some of that hardwood uh, ply, plywood. This is hardwood plywood that I have. Might cut it and uh, layer it, and then use. A, I got a 
coping saw. I'll just like keep it so that it's a flat sheet that's roughly square, draw the shape that I want, and keeping it, you know, square, I'll just hit it with as few dimensions as possible. I'll just cut it out, and then I'll start doing the roundovers and the texturing of the handle and stuff like that. Um, at least that's the plan, and it's to use this. Maybe maybe I'll stop by and get some more hardwood, but I'm not going to butcher out the hardwood I'm using for my main gun, just for a handle for this little guy, so. Um, yeah. Anywho, so far so good. Uh, what else? That's pretty much it, honestly. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to glue this up and get off to bed, I guess. But... Yeah, been making progress. It's coming along. Um, I'll keep you updated. The shop vac's sick. I've already used it to clean the shop uh, quite a bit. But yeah. All right.